Hey everyone, it's Brian here. I wanted to show you how to take a setup like this in Qualtrics. We have a randomizer um, that is assigning people to one of these six different blocks. Um, and so we have basically two different independent variables. We have the shape uh, circle or triangle is one of the variables. And then the other is the color, which has three levels, blue, yellow, or white. And then we have blue, yellow, or white for uh, the other shape. So basically there's six different possible combinations and each person is being assigned to view only one of them. So we have two independent variables and they're both between subjects variables. So let's download this data file and get it set up in uh, SPSS so that we can do an analysis. This, the analysis here would be something like uh, a two-way ANOVA. So that's kind of a more complicated setup, but you can use the same logic for uh, a one-way ANOVA or uh, some other less uh, complex arrangement. Um, so the first thing we want to do is when we download the data file, we don't just want to use the default settings. We get our data analysis. We're going to go to export and import, uh, choose export, and we do want to export into SPSS. Um, and the real trick here um, is under more options, that gives you the ability to scroll down here. Um, if you have it checked, you want to uncheck this compressed data as zip file. That's just a time-saving thing. Um, but for our purposes in terms of creating our variables in SPSS, this is the really important thing we want. Export viewing order data for randomized surveys. Uh, depending on what else you have going on in your survey, you may see different checkboxes available here, but this is the one that we really want for uh, this example. So let's download this. And it's going to come up with a file that we can click on. And this opens it up in SPSS here. Um, so the fact that we checked that randomized order, so here's all of our data, um, what it does is it adds these different conditions here at the end. And if we switch to the variable view, um, maybe a little clearer what's going on here. Um, so we have a couple things that aren't really relevant um, to this example, but here we can see um, these different blocks, the blue circle, yellow circle, and so on. Um, represented by these last six variables. And um, here in the data view, we can see these six variables. So each person is getting a one if that's the condition that they were assigned to, and then a blank uh, for the condition they weren't assigned to. So basically we have all the information here that we need to create our independent variables, um, but it's not in the format that SPSS wants it. What we really want to do is we're going to have um, a column representing our color independent variable, and then a second column representing the shape independent variable. So we need to somehow merge these six columns into those two uh, dummy variables uh, in a way that SPSS wants to see it. So to do that, we're just gonna do transform compute uh, several times. Um, let's deal with our uh, shape first. So we have, you can see here, this is the, uh, circle is the first three, and then the, the triangle is the second three. So we're going to have um, create a new variable called shape type. And we're going to do this in two passes. First, we're going to assign one to the circle, anybody who has a, a one in one of these first three columns. Um, and then we'll assign a different number, a two, to everybody who has a one in the second three columns. And so uh, it's the if statement that's doing the real work here. Um, and so when we click on if, we can say, well, who do we want to assign a one to? Well, it's anybody who has a circle. And so we're going to grab if that is equal to a one, then we want to assign them a circle. And then we, we want to use uh, this conditional, uh, this Boolean operator, the or is this pipe symbol here. So we're going to put that in, drag over our second circle variable. If that's a one, we, we want those people too. And then yet another or. And then we're going to drag these people over, the white circle people over, and if they are a one. So all of these three conditions, and we're using the or because you know it doesn't matter if, which of these three colors they're assigned to. We want all of these people to have uh, the circle variable. And so uh, with our if statement set up, and we're going to assign those people to a one. And so now that's good. And we can go over and check, yeah, these people got the shape type circle and it's all these people who had a one in the first three columns. So we're going to do a second pass um, 
at the shape type to get the shape type for the triangle people. Um, and we're going to assign them a two. And again, it's just a matter of configuring um, this conditional statement. Um, and so we can drag these over um, and use the same logic. We're going to say, all right, if you have if you're the triangle and that equals a one, or if you are a yellow triangle, value one, or if you have the white triangle with a value of one, then that's who we want to assign a two to. So again, save statement doing the heavy lifting. We're going to assign those people a value of a two. It's going to give us this, this seemingly scary change existing variable. And yeah, we want to change these blanks to twos. Um, and so it tells us it did it. And there we have our shape variable fully set up. The last thing we need to do is go in here and into our variable view because um, it's easy to forget what you did. So we want to make sure that we say, OK, a one represents our circle people and a two represents our triangle people. So let's spell that correctly. So we add both of those in here. And so now on any output we run with this variable, it's going to not use a one and a two, but instead it'll say circle and triangle. We need to do the same logic for our color. Um, so we're going to create uh, another variable shape color. We'd have to do this in three passes because we have three different levels for this. Um, and so we can say, um, all right, if you have, we do blue first. So if you are blue circle or if you are blue triangle, then you should have a blue shape color represented by a one. Um, and we have, so that worked out. And then two more passes should do it. We'll give a two. Uh, to our yellow people. And since we've been consistent with their variable naming, we can actually try a different approach here, depending on whichever one is uh, a more of a time saver. So there's our yellow triangle people. And make sure that that's set to a two and it's okay to change the variable and it populates those people. And then one more pass should get us to three or we're just going to change our white circle and our white triangle people. Change our yellow to our white, I should say. And change that to a three. It's OK to change the existing variable, and it puts our threes in there. And then the last thing we need to do here is in this, we're going to say one is um, our blue, two is our yellow and three is our white shapes. Um, and so now our, we've taken this information that's in Qualtrics preferred format, and we've transformed it into these two independent variables um, for uh, in the way that SPSS wants to see them set up for a between subjects analysis. Um, so there you go. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.